Welcome to the dynamic range test for the C500, where we also did a codec comparison between the MXF and the Canon RAW light. And this setup, the way we did set it up, we had a silk bounce, a 4x4 silk bounce that controlled the sunlight that was coming from the right side of the frame hitting the talent. And we exposed in um, using T stop increments and one stop increments to be able to expose the file. We did that for both the RAW and for both the MXF and you would clearly see or from what i see or, or saw my scopes you get because i do not know how compression will translate this to screen up until three stops we didn't lose any specular details like specular details are like highlights that are way way high those very shiny glittering spots and we did have some light contamination if you look at the talent um, right arm on the frame and the, from the sun side that was to the right side of the screen, you could see some leakage or you could probably um, see some of the sun leaking beneath the 4x4 bounce. Apart from that, most of the light that was around the face on the shirt were more consistent, and which was what we proceeded with. And you could almost instantaneously see that even up to 6 stop where it becomes super unusable, there is so much detail that has been captured within that 2 gigabyte per second RAW. When we go on to the next test, where you actually get to see the RAW versus the MXF. First thing that jumps out of you is the amount of detail that comes out from the RAW. This is not making the MXF look bad. Maybe for documentary sections where you need longer time and stuff like that, controlled situ situations indoors, I'm sure the MXF would also deliver even exteriors, but there is no denying the power of that RAW. And every time it records RAW, it natively records in c log 2, which means you get the entire full dynamic range of the camera even if you did set it in camera to be like c log 3 doesn't bake that in it records at the flattest profile in cinema gamut so you get that full 15 stops of canon awesomeness and you begin to see how um how much amount of details how much that two gigabyte of seconds what it means in the raw when we actually move into the um, comparison where you get to see all this split. I would like to see your comments. What do you think about Canon Draw? What do you think about the camera itself? What do you think about the test? 
I look forward to your comments and in the next video we'll go about doing underexposures too.